welcome back, friends. We are yet to be back in the same um, facility together. So without further ado, we're back with another video lesson. We're so excited. Mm -hmm. um, so Miss Vicky, Miss Jennifer, we are here. Um, so like always, we're going to open up with prayer and dive into our lesson. Then we got some... Um, some messages at the end that we want you to stay tuned for. So Jennifer, Miss Jennifer has some news. Um, so let's go ahead and pray together however you want to pray. Head down, hands folded, <laughs> hands in front of you. However you want to pray, just please join me in our opening prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us this time to just always have you at the forefront of our of our lives and just being able to learn um, the stories of your son and just all the things that we need to arm ourselves to be the best Christians that we possibly can and to go out and share your words and live in a way that people wonder how we got here and we can say, let me introduce you to my father and we can just share the beautiful things that you have given us. So thank you, Heavenly Father, just for blessing the teachers of the church, the members of the church, the other workers of the church, and the parents of our beautiful children that we have. Without them, there would not be a us. It would not be a children's ministry. So we are just so grateful for the parents for entrusting us to minister to these young minds and hearts. I just pray that the words that we say today are just heard fully, and we just want to thank you again for being here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 That right. was beautiful. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay, well, good morning, friends. So today is the story of the lost son. Because mm -hmm. what is tomorrow? Let's see. Oh, mm. It's Father's Day. Father's Day. Yeah. So happy <laughs> Father's Day to yes. all you amazing dads out there who work so hard mm -hmm. for your families, for all you do, for your support, your love, dealing with just everything. Thank you. Happy Father's Day to mm -hmm. you. Thank you so much. So today we're going to be reading about the lost son, and you all know this Bible. A lot of you have it, the Adventure Bible. We use this in church, okay? And it is in Luke, and it's chapter 15, verse 11 through 24. 24. Here we go. <clears throat> Jesus continued, there was a man who had two sons. The younger son spoke to his father. He said, Father, give me my share of the family property. So the father divided his property between his two sons. Not long after that, the younger son packed up all he had. Then he left for a country far away. There he wasted his money on wild living. He spent everything he had. Then the whole country ran low on food. So the son didn't have what he needed. He went to work for someone who lived in that country. The person sent the son to the fields to feed the pigs. The son wanted to fill his stomach with the food the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. Then he began to think clearly again. He said, How many of my father's hired servants have more than enough food? But here I am dying from hunger. I will get up and go back to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and I have sinned against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So he got up and went to his father. While the son was still a long way off, his father saw him. He was filled with tender love for his son. He ran to him and he threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattest calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. The son of mine was dead, and now he is alive again. He was lost, and now he is found. So they began to celebrate. Amen. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. oh, I love it. And we see... Um, you know, in our lives as mm -hmm. myself and Miss Jennifer being adults, we have witnessed 
friends in our life and family in our life go astray. And what we always want to do is open them with, welcome them with open arms. We don't want to shun them or make them feel bad because if anything Jesus teaches us, he teaches us to love one another. No matter where they are in life, we should love one another. It's not our job to judge them. So that father was not like, it's not my place to make him feel bad for what he's done because he came back. So clearly he knew he wanted to be forgiven for what he did. And that's also part of just forgiving people is knowing that they want that forgiveness and they do apologize for the things that they done wrong. So it's not, it should be in no one's heart to ever feel like it's up to us to make people feel bad or for us to punish them for the things they've done. God has said, let him handle revenge. That is his job. So if anything needs to be handled, leave it to God. Just love each other. If you're your brother, if you have siblings, if your siblings upset you, don't take it out on them. Just, you're entitled to be upset, but just don't take it out on them. Don't be mean. Don't feel like you have to punish them by doing what they did to you. They took your toys, so now you got to take theirs. It's okay to be upset. Spend that 30 minutes or 10 minutes upset and just go back to plan or whatever you two were doing. So that's important that we read in this story that this dad just loved his son. Because feelings come and go, friends. Like, you can, I can be totally happy mm -hmm. with my kids one minute, and I, within a split second, they can say or do something, and I know I'm getting frustrated, and Miss Victoria's seen it. <laughs> she's like, she's family. She's here a lot. But <laughs> it's easy. We do it as adults, and mm -hmm. we have to stop and remember Okay, this is this feeling's not gonna last, mm -hmm. and so that's why we also need to watch our words. Yes, um, very important. Thank you. Because very you important. can't take those back, and that's that's so important. So just, I think it was a good story. No matter mm -hmm. how, even though the dad was hurt, he was he was just filled with love for his his family and yeah. friends and for life, and I think that's that's so important. Yeah. So, okay. So I have um, the memory verse for this week. It comes from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. And to summarize what we're talking about for Father's Day, dads are many things. They are providers, teachers, mentors, spiritual leaders, coaches, and even playmates. But a dad's most important job is modeling the love of God to his kids. We should love our dads knowing that they can show us how much God loves us. That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I, I think that's that. lovely. That is. So you have something you wanted to share I about do. a family? So, friends, I have some sad news. We have a family that has been with us. I don't know. I Time feel, goes by so fast, I but know. I feel like it's probably been a couple years. I feel like it's been forever. <laughs> yeah. just, um, but um, Carla, Marlon. Yes. Um, and then our children will know their kids' yes, names. Yes. Um, Maximo, <laughs> Junior, and Christian yes. have been um, restationed someplace else and um, are leaving our church family Hopefully temporarily, Maybe and um, yes, <laughs> yes, and that's what we are shooting for. We would love for you to come back. So, Marlon, I just want to um, give a little shout out to you. Mm -hmm. Happy Father's Day! Happy Father's Day! Thank you so much for uh, trusting Miss Victoria and myself with your amazing boys, mm -hmm. Junior. Oh my gosh, you're such a sweetheart and yes. such a joy to be around, Maximo. I look forward to being with you every week. You bring. Such joy and fun to me. And Christian, oh, your smile. Mm. And, and he, Car Christian loves ripped jeans. Yes, he does. <laughs> he loves ripped <laughs> jeans. So if I had any little rip in my jeans, he would just enjoy playing with them. I'm just, I'm going to miss it. Yeah, I am too. And Carla, I just, you as well. Thank you so much yes. for for uh, trusting us with your boys. But um, you guys are an amazing family, and I just want to thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And Miss Victoria and I wish you a very safe journey. The whole church does. And please know that you will be in our hearts, in our prayers always. And um, we can't wait for you to come back. So be safe. 
And we love you guys so much. Yeah. I also have one more shout out. Yes. So all to, about the dads. Yes. We got the dads. <laughs> to um to the Morley family. Um, first I'm gonna start with Josh. Um I want to say thank you, Miss Victoria and I, and yes. I know the church does too, but personally for Miss Victoria and I, thank you so much for all the work that you are putting into the nursery at the church in Olympia. Um, that's awesome. Not only do you work hard as an officer, thank you so much for that, mm -hmm. but you're also working hard on your time off. Yes. And, um, yeah. Happy Father's Day. Thank you so much for that. And thank you for letting us be a part of your kids' lives in the ministry. The fact that we got to have um, Bear, um, Josiah, <laughs> Jada, and Jordan. Jordan yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Jordan, Jada, Bear, because you guys are in our class yes. right now. Love you guys so I feel much. Like Josiah, he yeah. aged too fast. He, did. he was in and then he was out. He, he grew. Yeah, he, Josiah, <laughs> we love you too. But yeah. we know you're doing great. Miss Paul is, and I'm mm -hmm. happy for you, Julia. Julie, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for you know when you've come and helped out and everything. I truly appreciate mm -hmm. it. Thank you so much for getting these videos out to our church family yes. um, and for the work you do helping us get that out. Um, you guys are amazing and just thank you so much. And to the church as a whole, to all our fathers. Happy Father's to, Day. Happy Father's Day. We mm -hmm. love you guys. We appreciate you guys and we're so happy to be a part of this church this family. And do you know how many yeah. fathers put up our stuff yeah. every week at the DuPont Church and take it down? Because everyone knows Miss Vicky and Miss Jennifer do not <laughs> want to fold up a bouncy house. So thank you, Dad. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. And um, thank you so much. We love you so much. And um, just please, I'm asking for lots of prayers for Carla mm -hmm. and Marlon and the boys. Please um, just let's. As a whole, let's pray for them and just send them off with a good bubble wrapped around them. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want me to end in prayer? Yeah. Or would you like to? You can close this Okay, one. That sounds good. So if you all will, um, thank you for letting me shout out. Um, if you all will bow your heads but or look up to the sky, however mm -hmm. you want to do it, I'm going to close out in a quick prayer. Thank you so much, and again, happy Father's Day. Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you so much for this time that we got to fellowship with Miss Victoria, for the time that we got to read about your wonderful story about the son coming back home to his father, Lord, and just the shout outs to our church family and the fathers. Um, thank you so much. I pray that all the fathers tomorrow have a wonderful Father's Day, have a blessed Father's Day. And just know how truly amazing and special and loved they are, Lord. Father, thank you again for all the blessings you give us all on a daily basis and for your love. In Jesus' sweet name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. I hope everyone enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy your time with your dads. And just a reminder that we love you all. All right. Until next time. Bye. Bye.